Monday, Farmdale Foxes. Can you believe we only have two weeks left before the end of the second trimester? So let's go ahead and see what our announcements are for this week. Our activity schedule, we have Miss Brenda out there on the playground for first and third grade, she has topple tubes. And for fourth and fifth grade, she has kickball basketball. Now keep in mind, if she's not out there, it might be because she's helping us cover for other staff members that might be gone. So if that's the case, we apologize. But just know if we have everything covered, Miss Brenda will be out there because she really does enjoy doing those activities with you. Also, don't forget on 2-2-2022, that is February 2nd, uh, we do have a minimum day, so at, make sure your parents pick you up at 1.30. Remember, the release time is 1.30, not 2.30 on Wednesday, so be sure to tell your parents that we have a minimum day this week. We also have a student council meeting on Thursday. All second through fifth grade classroom representatives and our fifth grade executive board, make sure you're there in the library at 8.05. We have also had fun with these positive office referrals. Getting a referral does not always have to be a bad thing. We have so many great things happen, happening at Farmdale. We want to hear about them. One of those students was Ezekiel. He got a positive office referral for staying 10 minutes after school every day to help his teacher, Miss Luna, and their classroom aide, Miss Manessas, clean up. Thank you, Ezekiel. We also had Tatiana in Miss Luna's class. Uh, you can see Tatiana is ho um, holding her clappy hands and uh, Miss Luna just said how proud she was of Tatiana because she's always cheering on her classmates. And uh, when another student was getting their positive office referral, she's got her clappy hands right there in the classroom. She goes and gets them and she is the classroom's best cheerleader. So thank you, Tatiana, for that. We also had Ruben in Miss Dutra's class. He's always working hard and he's learning all of his sight words. We had Fabiola in Miss Hogue's class and she's always pushing through the hard times and she's always trying her best and working really hard. We also had Ariana from Miss Watson's class who wrote a wonderful book for her teacher, Miss Watson, and it included a lot of great similes. We also had Emma from Miss Sanchez's class and she's always working hard and her hard work has paid off because she moved up two reading levels. We had Olivia from Mr. Magana's class and she earned her certificate for always helping her peers and for always working hard. And we had Melanie from Miss Vang's fifth grade class. She got the certificate from Miss Hagerman, the PE teacher. She wore Crocs to school one day and it was a running day, but she demonstrated responsibility by bringing her tennis shoes to be sure that she can do her running in PE. So she also scored 38 laps on her PACER test. So congratulations to all the students who got positive office referrals. Teachers keep those coming because we love hearing, we love hearing about the awesome things happening every day. Don't forget that Fox to Watch is back. Teachers can nominate students who they feel are role models for the school. Um, Fox to watch students will win a prize, walk down the red carpet, and they get to have lunch with Miss Spielman. So remember, we're always looking for our Fox to watch. Don't forget, we have our Live the Creed goal. We have a pretty cool assembly coming up, and you need five certificates for your class. A lot of classes have already reached that goal. So if you haven't, be sure that you are working hard to not get referrals. And remember, if you get to five, don't stop, keep going. See how many you guys can get this trimester. All right, this is the week. We have our Valentine's grams for sale. They start today and they go all the way until Friday. So if you wanna tell somebody here at school how special they are to you, remember you can get a Valentine gram for just $1. Kindness week is almost here. It's next week and we have some spirit days. So we're just letting you know about them in advance so that way you can get ready. So on Monday, we have Wear Hearts Day. On Tuesday, we have Crazy Hair Day. On Wednesday, it's Rainbow Day. On Thursday, it's Superhero Day. And on Friday, it's Kind Shirt Day. So be sure to share the love and be sure you're looking forward to Farmdale's Kindness Week. Also during the week, I'm giving you a sneak peek. We're going to have a thousand acts of kindness challenge Make kindness a habit. More information is coming soon on that. So I can't wait to hear more about it. Tomorrow is the beginning of a new month. We're not gonna have a strategy this month because it's a short month for us here at Farmdale. So we're going to review. It's always great to say please and thank you. Remember if somebody does something for you, say thank you. And if you need something done, you can always say please. And we have pencils for sale. Uh, we've moved to the pencil box. Uh, it's still close by the office. A lot of you guys have seen where it's at. So you can go ahead and get one for 25 cents.
a new month starts this week. So we're going to kick off Black History Month. So get ready to learn about some social studies and we'll see what you learn this month. And our quote of the week is from author Maya Angelou. And I love this quote because it says, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. It's a great quote by an amazing author. And let's not forget to wear our masks properly. Remember, uh, we're still trying to stop the spread. So make sure you're wearing your mask over your nose and over your mouth, just like this. Remember, we don't wear our masks like this or like this. We've got to cover our nose and our mouths. And let's go ahead and do our kindness ticket winners. Remember, if you're caught living in the Farmdale Creek, you get a kindness ticket. We've got lots of them in here. Go ahead and check that out. And we have... Ariana from Miss Johnson's ELD class. So uh, she might have a different homeroom teacher. It says Miss Johnson's ELD class. So if you're Ariana, we'll find out who you are. Congratulations. We have Rosendo from Miss Smith's third grade class. Congratulations. And we also have Antonio from Mr. Downey's class in fourth grade. So congratulations to our kindness ticket winners this week. And I want you guys to have a great week. Remember, like I said at the beginning of the video, we have two weeks left until the end of the trimester. If you need anything, please reach out to Ms. Spielman, myself, or Mr. Gong. And let's go ahead and take a look at this week's birthdays. Bye.